All right, everybody, welcome to your third Node.js tutorial. I'm Mehul, and in this tutorial, we'll be learning about the require function in Node.js. So, so far, what we have done in Node is just simple console logging or arithmetic, and you know that you can multiply numbers as well and pretty much divide them as well. So that's pretty much what we have done so far in node and now let's just make use of something called as require now require is a function in node which would allow you to basically split your javascript files in separate files and then use the methods or variables or whatever you want to use of different file in your working file which you're currently working on so let's just create a script here Let's just create a new file. Let's just name it um, methods.js. And inside here, let's just say that um, I'm just creating a methods variable, which is an object. And methods. Dot, um, um, let's just say update server. This is some important function and why not let's just say methods dot um, eat cookies why not node loves cookies and uh, I would prefer to have chocolate cookies and then we have methods dot um, whatever you like node is function and console log let's just say node.js is awesome so what we have done here is I've just created a simple methods object and assign a three functions here to that same object now what I need to do is inside the script file script3.js I'm just gonna do var um, response is require methods.js and obviously you would be wondering that why have I have written like a dot and a slash and then methods.js when this file is already in the working directory the current working directory well obviously that has a reason behind that and we'll be learning about that reason in the section where we use or we basically where we learn about the inbuilt modules or custom modules which we you know just download from other sources so you have to wait till then because that would be relevant for you if I explain it right now so currently I have this response as is as this is and currently obviously the are JavaScript this require or basically the node doesn't know which thing it has to make available to the script file and which thing not so obviously you won't like to have all of your variables and all of your methods functions everything publicly available to every other file when it just uses a simple require keyword so what you can do is here you have to make use of something called exports now exports is simply um, you can say a node object which would just you know contain some properties or functions or you know just the data which you want the file which is using this require keyword to have access to so when you make use of this exports you can just write let's just say exports dot data is methods so this is just creating this variable exports dot data and this is methods and now what I can do is I can just simply console log this response and uh, let's just see how this works so let's just type node script 3.js and it says me okay so it cannot find so cd documents cd node.js and okay so now we are in the working directory so node script 3.js response whoa 
got a typo there so this is it and as you can see it returns me an object data which updates server is a function edit co eat cookies is a function and node is a function so obviously that won't display the whole function definition here to keep the code precise so what we can do is I can just do something like response dot and call any of these methods and is not a function never mind so what we need is response dot data as you can see this works now so what's happening here so exports this variable we are I'm attaching this property right here which is another object because this one is an object and so this contains this data contains all of these methods and since I'm exporting them to another file which kind of makes this available to this file therefore all of these methods are available so you can build a kind of a meaningful application for example if you just want to you know some numbers a b and just return a plus b you can just add methods dot circle area and just the radius you need I guess just return uh, what is the circle area it's two times math dot pi times r and that is the circumference so better change it to circumference because because the area is pi r square so never mind then we have methods dot um, area of rectangle a comma b return a star b and so on and so forth so what else you can do is you can just create this variable output and set it to or basically just keep it like that and therefore inside this function you can say output is a plus b and then return this and even if I initialize it with some value like this is 1337 or whatever and then do something like this this thing and then just replace it with the output and again with output you're just saying a times b and return output so what I wanted to show you guys is that whatever you don't attach to the exports won't be available in this file so if I do like response if I do like console log response dot data dot or basically if I just console logs this thing right here and if I run this again alright so this is a function god damn it oh so we have got all of that screwed up a little bit okay so now as you can see this output variable is not in here so if I do something like exports dot output is equal to output then you'll see that this output is contained in the output as well so as long as you don't attach the properties to exports or as long as you don't make use of the keyword this so as long as you don't do these of uh, any of these two either you don't make use of the exports or don't make use of the this then your methods or your variables won't be available to the file which is requesting your file with the required keyword so if I run this okay so if I run this then as you can see output is still available because I made use of this so that's pretty much how you make use of the require and uh, this would come a lot handier when you are just creating a simple HTTP server which we will be looking real soon and it has got a lot of other uses as well so yeah so that was just a simple beginning and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe 
and thank you for watching guys i'll see you then